Chapter 28 Have Aaron your brother brought to you from among the Israelites, along with his sons Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar, so they may serve me as priests. Make sacred garments for your brother Aaron, to give him dignity and honor. Tell all the skilled men to whom I have given wisdom in such matters that they are to make garments for Aaron for his consecration, so he may serve me as priest. These are the garments they are to make, a breastpiece, an ephod, a robe, a woven tunic, a turban, and a sash. They are to make these sacred garments for your brother Aaron and his sons, so they may serve me as priests. Have them use gold and blue, purple and scarlet yarn, and fine linen. Make the ephod of gold, and of blue, purple and scarlet yarn, and of finely twisted linen, the work of a skilled craftsman. It is to have two shoulder pieces attached to two of its corners, so it can be fastened. Its skillfully woven waistband is to be like it, of one piece with the effort, and made with gold, and with blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and with finely twisted linen. Take two onyx stones, and engrave on them the names of the sons of Israel in the order of their birth, six names on one stone, and the remaining six on the other. Engrave the names of the sons of Israel on the two stones the way a gem cutter engraves a seal. Then mount the stones in gold filigree settings, and fasten them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod as memorial stones for the sons of Israel. Aaron is to bear the names on his shoulders as a memorial before the Lord. Make gold filigree settings and two braided chains of pure gold like a rope, and attach the chains to the settings. Fashion a breastpiece for making decisions, the work of a skilled craftsman. Make it like the ephod, of gold and of blue, purple and scarlet yarn, and of finely twisted linen. It is to be square, a span long and a span wide, and folded double. Then mount four rows of precious stones on it. In the first row there shall be a ruby, a topaz, and a beryl. In the second row a turquoise, a sapphire, and an emerald. In the third row a jacinth, an agate, and an amethyst. In the fourth row a chrysolite, an onyx, and a jasper. Mount them in gold filigree settings. There are to be twelve stones, one for each of the names of the sons of Israel, each engraved like a seal with the name of one of the twelve tribes. For the breastpiece, make braided chains of pure gold, like a rope. Make two gold rings for it, and fasten them to two corners of the breastpiece. Fasten the two gold chains to the rings at the corners of the breastpiece, and the other ends of the chains to the two settings attaching them to the shoulder pieces of the ephod at the front. Make two gold rings and attach them to the other two corners of the breastpiece on the inside edge next to the ephod. Make two more gold rings and attach them to the bottom of the shoulder pieces on the front of the ephod, close to the seam just above the waistband of the ephod. The rings of the breastpiece are to be tied to the rings of the ephod with blue cord connecting it to the waistband so that the breastpiece will not swing out from the ephod. Whenever Aaron enters the holy place, he will bear the names of the sons of Israel over his heart on the breastpiece of decision as a continuing memorial before the Lord. Also put the Urim and the Thummim in the breastpiece so they may be over Aaron's heart whenever he enters the presence of the Lord. Thus Aaron will always bear the means of making decisions for the Israelites over his heart before the Lord. Make the robe of the ephod entirely of blue cloth, with an opening for the head in its center. There shall be a woven edge like a collar around this opening, so that it will not tear. Make pomegranates of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn around the hem of the robe with gold bells between them. The gold bells and the pomegranates are to alternate around the hem of the robe. Aaron must wear it when he ministers. The sound of the bells will be heard when he enters the holy place before the Lord, and when he comes out so that he will not die. Make a plate of pure gold and engrave on it as on a seal, Holy to the Lord. Fasten a blue cord to it to attach it to the turban. It is to be on the front of the turban. It will be on Aaron's forehead, and he will bear the guilt involved in the sacred gifts the Israelites consecrate, whatever their gifts may be. It will be on Aaron's forehead continually so that they will be acceptable to the Lord. Weave the tunic of fine linen and make the turban of fine linen. The sash is to be the work of an embroiderer. Make tunics, sashes, and headbands for Aaron's sons to give them dignity and honor. After you put these clothes on your brother Aaron and his sons, anoint and ordain them. Consecrate them so they may serve me as priests. 
Make linen undergarments as a covering for the body, reaching from the waist to the thigh. Aaron and his sons must wear them whenever they enter the tent of meeting or approach the altar to minister in the holy place, so that they will not incur guilt and die. This is to be a lasting ordinance for Aaron and his descendants. Chapter 29 This is what you are to do to consecrate them, so they may serve me as priests. Take a young bull and two rams without defect, and from fine wheat flour without yeast make bread, and cakes mixed with oil, and wafers spread with oil. Put them in a basket and present them in it, along with the bull and the two rams. Then bring Aaron and his sons to the entrance to the tent of meeting, and wash them with water. Take the garments and dress Aaron with the tunic, the robe of the ephod, the ephod itself, and the breastpiece. Fasten the ephod on him by its skillfully woven waistband. Put the turban on his head, and attach the sacred diadem to the turban. Take the anointing oil, and anoint him by pouring it on his head. Bring his sons, and dress them in tunics, and put headbands on them. Then tie sashes on Aaron and his sons. The priesthood is theirs by a lasting ordinance. In this way you shall ordain Aaron and his sons. Bring the bull to the front of the tent of meeting, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on its head. Slaughter it in the Lord's presence at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Take some of the bull's blood and put it on the horns of the altar with your finger, and pour out the rest of it at the base of the altar. Then take all the fat around the inner parts, the covering of the liver, and both kidneys with the fat on them, and burn them on the altar. But burn the bull's flesh and its hide and its offal outside the camp. It is a sin offering. Take one of the rams, and Aaron and his son shall lay their hands on its head. Slaughter it, and take the blood, and sprinkle it against the altar on all sides. Cut the ram into pieces, and wash the inner parts and the legs, putting them with the head and the other pieces. Then burn the entire ram on the altar. It is a burnt offering to the Lord, a pleasing aroma, an offering made to the Lord by fire. Take the other ram, and Aaron and his son shall lay their hands on its head. Slaughter it, take some of its blood, and put it on the lobes of the right ears of Aaron and his sons, on the thumbs of their right hands, and on the big toes of their right feet. Then sprinkle blood against the altar on all sides, and take some of the blood on the altar, and some of the anointing oil, and sprinkle it on Aaron and his garments, and on his sons and their garments. Then he and his sons and their garments will be consecrated. Take from this ram the fat, the fat tail, the fat around the inner parts, the covering of the liver, both kidneys with the fat on them, and the right thigh. This is the ram for the ordination. From the basket of bread made without yeast, which is before the Lord, take a loaf and a cake made with oil and a wafer. Put all these in the hands of Aaron and his sons and wave them before the Lord as a wave offering. Then take them from their hands and burn them on the altar along with a burnt offering for a pleasing aroma to the Lord, an offering made to the Lord by fire. After you take the breast of the ram for Aaron's ordination, wave it before the Lord as a wave offering, and it will be your share. Consecrate those parts of the ordination ram that belong to Aaron and his sons, the breast that was waved and the thigh that was presented. This is always to be the regular share from the Israelites for Aaron and his sons. It is the contribution the Israelites are to make to the Lord from their fellowship offerings. Aaron's sacred garments will belong to his descendants so that they can be anointed and ordained in them. The son who succeeds him as priest and comes to the tent of meeting to minister in the holy place is to wear them seven days. Take the ram for the ordination and cook the meat in a sacred place. At the entrance to the tent of meeting, Aaron and his sons are to eat the meat of the ram and the bread that is in the basket. They are to eat these offerings by which atonement was made for their ordination and consecration. But no one else may eat them because they are sacred. And if any of the meat of the ordination ram or any bread is left over till morning, burn it up. It must not be eaten because it is sacred. Do for Aaron and his sons everything I have commanded you, taking seven days to ordain them. Sacrifice a bull each day as a sin offering to make atonement. Purify the altar by making atonement for it, and anoint it to consecrate it. For seven days make atonement for the altar and consecrate it. Then the altar will be most holy, and whatever touches it will be holy. This is what you are to offer on the altar regularly each day. Two lambs a year old. Offer one in the morning and the other at twilight. 
with the first lamb offer a tenth of an ephah of fine flour mixed with a quarter of a hin of oil from pressed olives and a quarter of a hin of wine as a drink offering. Sacrifice the other lamb at twilight with the same grain offering and its drink offering as in the morning, a pleasing aroma, an offering made to the Lord by fire. For the generations to come, this burnt offering is to be made regularly at the entrance to the tent of meeting before the Lord. There I will meet you and speak to you. There also I will meet with the Israelites, and the place will be consecrated by my glory. So I will consecrate the tent of meeting and the altar, and will consecrate Aaron and his sons to serve me as priests. Then I will dwell among the Israelites and be their God. They will know that I am the Lord their God, who brought them out of Egypt so that I might dwell among them. I am the Lord their God.